so let's do one thing till the time the quantity is also very less so till the time what we will do is like we'll just uh, mix up the grease and we'll make a mixture so this is my weigh machine and i have taken one pan so i'm going to mix this grease now first uh, we'll just make it zero <coughs> then i'm going to take say round about this is ap3 grease so white grease don't use black grease or the hub greasing hub uh, uh, the black that the black grease which you use for the hub greasing so let's just first so what i am doing is like i'm i'm calculating downside just check 50 So almost uh, 100 grams you can say I have taken. Now what I'll do is like I'm going to use uh, thin oil, not going to use thick oil. Anyways, you have to make it such viscous that it should flow down. If you take it in your hand like this way, it should flow down. If you try to pour like this way, it should flow down. So I have to make it 500 grams. This is basically approximate number that uh, the mixture is basically but it should not exceed more than 500 grams so i have poured this 10w30 this doesn't require any ma or ma2 you can use ma also not an issue okay so as you can see this is 500 grams and uh, of course we we'll have to use the hands to mix everything this was the problem in whole four stroke uh, i mean this uh, four speed uh, speed gearbox so let's just keep the way machine away and uh, let's begin with the mixing of this grease i'll just switch to my small table because this is going to get take some time Right, and just okay. So, I hope you guys can see properly. So, this you have to mix all together. So, of course. See, ultimately you have to pour 500 grams. How much viscosity you require that I will show you. So if the ratio gets changed like because of uh, say let's consider if I have taken 100 grams grease and uh, whatever the remaining was oil. There is a possibility that you may require 200 grams oil. The same ratio you have to uh, take this oil. So it may be less what right now I have taken. So ultimately first you have to find out whether it is like can you see the flow it is depending basically on flow and then you have to measure it again that should not exceed more than 500 grams now many people says that uh, grease may not roll into inside the gearbox it is not like that the manufacturer knows about it that what they are pouring it are pouring inside the gearbox of course so the gearbox is designed like that way that is that was the reason that they have chosen such kind of a lubrication system 
uh, for this uh, four speed gearbox in five speed gearbox uh, it is different you need to use for uh, this uh, ep90 engine or uh, this uh, gearbox oil which is which means extra pressure so there you must use uh, oil see if you change the lubrication system then there is a possibility that the hydraulic pressure may get increased inside the gearbox or inside any engine component which may lead to you know, damage uh, the seals or the o-ring so just avoid that whatever the things they have mentioned just go according to that i am not saying in the engine oil engine oil is a completely different thing in engine oils you can change the grade so we may require little thick oil and there is also one possibility that we may have to blow the gearbox because if in fact um, one thing is there there is a level plug so even if i have taken this 500 and if there is some leftover inside that is okay you don't need to worry about leftovers because it is just gonna be in 100 ml or less than that only so this is how you have to make this mixture and then we have to pour this mixture in the injector so it will that injector is basically has got very good pressure that is just a basically um, tube which i am using from one of the industrial product which is basically a canister which we use to apply this silicone rubber liquid silicone rubber which becomes hard later on so i'm using that because that has got a very good pressure and the pouring system is very good don't spill this anywhere i know it's very you may feel it's a very dirty work but of course i enjoy this because something which is going to change the life of gearbox and going to give very good feeling so you have to mix it well you can use uh, this uh, any home appliances or something but make sure don't reuse that at home otherwise you will have greasy feeling while having your food so you can use that or hands are better <coughs> so this is how i hope you guys are not feeling bored because though i'm taking time but it has to be perfect now if i say see this is the, the flow I'll just show you it should flow down like this way so this grease is quite thin but not oil and not actually grease so this grade is perfect for the gearbox I'm still mixing it let's just pour this in the injector so we can fill up the lubrication or this uh, zero zero grid our homemade zero zero grid in the gearbox